still fun. What up gamers, I'm Sir Mav and thankfully this week we received another weapon in Battlefield 5 right behind the one shot rifle we received last week. So in this video today we're going to cover the Breda M1935 PG, the first burst rifle to come to Battlefield and one of the first burst rifles ever designed within the world, but I'll explain more on that here in a bit. If you're familiar with my weapon reviews, you'll know that I'm going to run you through the damage stats, recoil patterns of this weapon, and of course brush you up on a little bit of history of this gun as well. So before I get started with all the stats and how this gun plays in game, let's get into a little bit of history. The Breda M1935 PG is an Italian weapon designed by a man named Cestilio Firioni, which started in 1931. The M1935 was actually a prototype the company was working on as a semi-auto rifle option for the Italian arsenal, but due to World War II, the weapon design never went into full operation and production was halted by 1937. From the records, there was only two known clients that Breda sold this prototype to, the Italian government, and a majority of them even made it out to the Costa Rican government. Which is interesting because the model designed for Italy was only the semi-auto rifle version, but the Costa Rican model was actually the select fire version we play in the game of Battlefield 5. And as in game, the select fire options for the Breda M1935 is either single fire or a 4 round burst fire mode, which as stated before was actually one of the first burst fire rifles ever designed. The rifle was also gas operated which is why it has the PG letters at the end of its full name. PG for Breda stands for press a gas, which translates over to gas operated in English terminology. So from the records it seems that about 800 of these rifles were sold to the Costa Rican government, but only a few hundred or so of the semi-auto versions were ever sold to the Italian government. The guns went through troop trials within the Italian government, but it seems they settled on another option because these never actually made it to the front of the war. And this could have been for a number of different reasons. Cost could have been too high to manufacture, there was another more efficient rifle that was utilized, capital in general that was pushed to other projects, etc. So in real life, this makes the Breda M1935 a very rare rifle in its day and age, but definitely unique for its time period right before the war. So with a little history out of the way, let's get into the stats. So although the real life Breda was not the perfect gun for war, it is likely the most versatile weapon within the assault class that can adapt to multiple playstyles depending on how you set it up. First off, the gun itself is considered an automatic within Battlefield 5 due to its burst fire mode, but having the ability to switch to single fire mode gives you the benefits of both an automatic and semi-auto rifle within a match. At stock, the Breda M1935 starts at a rate of fire of 423 rounds per minute, houses 20 rounds in the mag with 100 max on your person, and the slowest reload speed of all automatic rifles at 3.6 seconds. But where this gun shines is how hard it hits. Between 5 and 20 meters, the M1935 averages at 53 damage to the head and 30 to the body. The important part with this is that this gun is a 4 round burst fire rifle, meaning that at the damage range, which is a very minimal drop off I might add, one burst fire and you can take down an enemy with all body shots. Now I will admit at first the burst fire recoil takes a bit to get used to, but once you get into unlocking the specializations, you can start setting this gun up to your playstyle. There's really two main ways to go about this with the specializations and there's really no direct route via right or left side of the tree that it goes by. If you're an aggressive player or within a close quarters map while using the Breda, you'll likely want to roll with enhanced grips to improve that hip fire as it really does help as you'll see in the recoil footage here later. Then push to the right side to reduce horizontal recoil and apply trigger job which will allow the gun to fire at its max rate of fire of 540 rounds per minute, basically making it an automatic rifle with as fast as it fires at this rate. And last you'll push to the left for custom stock as you'll likely be on the move most of the time as an aggressive player. I myself tend to lean towards quick aim in the beginning because I play more of a hybrid aggressive role on most maps depending on the situation I'm up against. If you're planning to fight more at a medium range and playing on a map more passive, I would suggest going quick aim, light and stock, light bolt, and the last section I leave up to you depending on how much you'll be moving while firing. And the reason you'll want trigger job for medium range is because this option places the burst rounds into a tighter loop meaning all four shots within your burst will be closer on target which could allow you to kill an enemy with each burst at range. But what makes either of these options great is in the case that if you need to be more precise with your shots, you can switch to semi-auto fire mode to aim more accurately down range, picking off targets at a distance and then switching back to burst when up closer to the enemy. Again, it really falls on preference though, but this is what makes the Breda so versatile out on the battlefield and likely my new favorite weapon in Battlefield 5 because it's so adaptable to many situations on different maps. So sounds good and all when said out loud, but how does the M1935 compare to the rest of the assault class rifles? 
Well, when looking at the automatic rifles of the Assault class, the Breda M1935 falls right in around the middle with the trigger job specialization as far as DPS output goes, which basically places this weapon above average when compared to the other Assault rifles. A lot really depends on how you intend to use it out on the battlefield. Again, although not always your best choice, this gun's true attraction is in its versatility that allows you to adapt to multiple situations with one rifle. And that's something that's definitely useful to any player of any playstyle as the Tide of War unfolds. Speaking of Tides of War, the challenges to unlock this weapon were really easy this week, which is why I didn't cover much on the challenges. Simply revive and heal your teammates, build and destroy fortifications and objective areas, and really just PTFO and you'll unlock this new rifle for the Assault class. I think it literally only took me like 3 conquest matches to unlock the rifle, so it shouldn't take you any time at all to do. With that gamers, there's really not much else to discuss regarding the Breda M1935 PG. As always, I try to make it as short and sweet as possible so you can get in and out and back into the game. Not sure yet if we'll have a new gun next week, but if I'm honest, I really hope DICE gets this ping issue figured out. I'm really getting tired of being shot while behind cover. And with Call of Duty Modern Warfare literally around the corner for release, they're going to have a tough time convincing me to come back to the game, even with the Pacific Theater for Chapter 5 on the horizon. In any case, I'll continue to update the Battlefield 5 weapons as they come, so if you enjoyed the content and intel, give this video a like and tap fire subscribe for more reviews on the weapons of Battlefield 5. But until next time gamers, this is Sir Mav, signing off.